Hi there, my name is Cesar Call Jr. and welcome to Monster Month. Monster Month. What is Monster Month? Monster Month is my way to get back into clay, uh, kind of remind myself that I can do it, remind uh, some of you that I can do it, because it's been it's been quite a while since I've done some clay sculpting, and um, and I just wanted to have some fun. I, I spent the past couple of months in LA. Uh, doing a bunch of interviews for the Squid Zone, and that's coming up soon. I'll, uh, I'll definitely give you guys a lowdown on that one. Um, as soon as we get some of the legal things taken care of, that's kind of the hold up right now. Um, we're setting up a little foundation um, uh, in, the, in the name of my daughter called Saving Graces, and uh, we're having to kind of deal with some legal uh, legal precedents and paperwork, if you will, uh, before. So until we get that done, we can't launch the squid zone. So uh, in between now and then, what I'm gonna be doing is Monster Month. So Monster Month is uh, really me sitting down and designing, doing a monster every single day for the entire month of June. So it should be a whole lot of fun. Now, obviously this isn't June yet, so I just wanted to do, kind of throw up a warmer and explain what it is we're doing. And also talk about armatures. Armatures are really cool, right? I mean, everybody, uh, you know, kind of gets that we need an armature so that we can actually get in there and sculpt something on. And obviously, if I'm going to be doing a sculpture a day, um, one of the things that I have to kind of pre-think is my armatures. Uh, in fact, um, I'm kind of doing, uh, well, I'm getting ahead of the game, if you will. Uh, I'm going to be spending the next three or four days just doing a bunch of different armatures uh, that way i've got i'd say at least half of them done by the time i get started um, i've got some preconceived notions of sculptures that i want to do things that i've been wanting to do for a while so i'm definitely going to tackle those and um, and because i've got those in my head i know which ones i'm going to uh, kind of get started but i know there's going to be a lot of questions uh, about armatures and how do we build armatures and whatnot so i wanted to kind of throw this up there and show you guys how to kind of build an armature. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this. Clear off the table here. And let's talk about, clear the table as well. Let's talk about wire. There's lots of different types of wire out there. And, um, and, you're gonna you're gonna want some specific types of wire. First of all, whenever I do something um, that's the core structure of a character, uh, I, I tend to go with three millimeters. Three millimeters is a good gauge in terms of thickness, and it gives me some nice stability. Now, uh, what you need to decide upon is whether or not your, uh, your creature is gonna be freestanding, or whether your creature is actually gonna have uh, a support structure. And, um, and maybe in one of the future videos, I'll talk about support structures. And specifically, I'm, I'm currently in Brazil, and I'm doing these, uh, these here in Brazil, so, um, I've, I've kind of had to adapt my workflow a little bit because some of the things that are readily available uh, in the United States aren't readily available here. So, uh, so I had to adapt, especially when it came to the support structure. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk about support structure um, in, in a, maybe in a follow-up video or whatnot. Uh, how I kind of went about creating a support structure, which I, th I thought was a pretty creative uh, way to go about it. Anyways. But uh, back to this, uh, you got to you have to kind of decide. So if if this if the case is you're going to do something like this, then then the type of uh, wire that you're going to want to use for say the legs and the spine is going to be uh, steel. You're going to want a nice strong. Um, wire. You, you're not going to want something like aluminum, which is really easily flexible. And uh, we'll get to that right now. So here we have a gauge. This is steel wire. And you can see that it's really, you know, it, it's, if I take these pliers, you know, I can bend them, but, you know, it's, it's hard, to, it's hard going to bend these. Versus if I get, let me see here. Here's a roll of aluminum. So this is steel. This is aluminum. Uh, again, three millimeters. You can see that the aluminum, in fact, I don't even need that. The aluminum is super soft and easy to bend. 
So uh, you're going to want to take that in consideration. If you want a freestanding, you're going to want a nice stiff wire that's actually going to uh, be the, the core structure of it. And then you want something soft that's going to be, you know, for the hands and the arms and uh, maybe the tail and whatnot. And, uh, and then there's different gauges. So this is a three. This is what I basically do. My arms, uh, my arms, my t you know, the tail, uh, my legs. Uh, the spinal column, which I double up anyway so that I get more cord strength. And uh, we'll actually go through and, and construct one of these right now. And then I've got uh, smaller gauges, like this is, uh, this is a two millimeter. So I use this, uh, I tend to use this a lot for like wrapping uh, things. Um, like for instance, the core uh, structure, which gives you know around the around the spinal column and whatnot. This is a nice gauge to kind of uh, keep that into place. And then you know you can go even smaller, right? Here's like a 1.5, and this I use this for my hands, uh, my fingers and whatnot. And I'll show you how I, I go about doing that, which is pretty pretty cool. And then because this is all smooth, you you're really going to want to wrap the entire length of your limbs so that um, uh, you know when you put the clay on there it's going to have something to bite into so even like these characters you can see right now they're just they're they're just bent wire uh, so i'm going to have to go in there and, and and wrap this around so that when i put the clay on there it actually holds and you know and bites in there and keeps it um, you know keeps it intact so let's get started Couple tools you're going to need: different, different, uh, uh, you know, sets of pliers, and cutting instruments. Here's like a general, you know, basically general clipper, and then uh, a tin shear. You know, tin shears are uh, pretty good for like these he heavier gauge, heavier gauges like like this. So I'm going to use this as I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend that. Uh, that, that uh, you know, this is going to be the legs of my character. That in, th that in this case, what I want is I want a freestanding character. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a length. It can be any length you want. Whatever the scale that you're going to be, you're going to make it in. You're going to have to reverse engineer this. And, uh, and the best way to go about reverse engineering this is just thinking about how long you want the legs to be. And, um, and this will make sense right now. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm taking an equal length here and I'm just going to slowly, let me clear the table here so you guys can see. Keep those here. But slowly, I'm just going to, I'm just using my hands right now. I kind of want to kind of want to just fold it in half like that. See, just folding the lengths in half. And what I want to do is I want to straighten out, I'm just using my hands here, this is the steel, so it's a little bit harder, but too worried right now about it being perfectly straight. I can always adjust things, but hands are a great tool, you know, so use them. So there is, there it is in half. So now what I want to do is I want to figure out, well, where's my head going to be? And this is basically my head portion here. And then this is my this right here is going to be my spine portion. So however big this is going to be, I I'm gonna when I make the other when I make the other side, you're gonna see that I can actually slide this up and down, which is really cool. But um, for now, just understand that over here you're gonna have your headpiece, and over here you're gonna have your uh, you know your spinal column. So what I want to do is I want to kind of figure out, give myself a little bit of length for where it is, and then now I'm gonna bend this like so. And once again. Bend it like so. Um, by the way, you can make a jig for this. Uh, maybe I'll uh, show what a jig looks like, which uh, 
but it's, it's always, I think it's a good idea to learn how to do this freehand um, instead of just relying on the jig because not every character is going to be perfectly, uh, you know, uh, fit perfectly within that. So what I've done here is I basically created my pelvis. It doesn't look like a pelvis right now, but it, that's basically the, the general generalization of where my pelvis is. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of figure out my legs. So I'm just going to take this and bend that like that. And I'm going to look here. I'm, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And it's about there. And there's my hips. You see that? Is that making sense? What I've done there? I'm just going to curl this back. There we go. Okay, so now that I have that, what I want to do is I want to figure out where my knees are. And um, at this point, I've got a choice. Am I making a humanoid or am I making a monster? Do I have, do I have uh, you know, humanoid legs or do I have canine legs? Um, you know, where are my joint structures? Where's my heel going to be? Is my heel going to be a plantar heel? Uh, all, you know, these are decisions that you need to make. So in this case, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to create a tail and I'm going to create some sort of demonoid thing with this. I think, I think that'd be interesting. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to, I want to leave a section here that I can basically uh, drill a hole into the board and plug these in and then I can crazy glue it at the, at the base and it'll, because I have the wire wrapped around it, it'll stick there like, this is fantastic. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to create where my where my knee is. So I'm just going to again. This is all arbitrary uh, at this you know in this case. Um, so I'm just going to say that that's my knee right there. And then same thing. I'm just going to kind of slide it over here, find out where my knee is, and pop my knee in. So now I've got my knees, the knees for my character. So that's pretty cool. Um, now what I want to do is I'm basically going to take this minus a bit and kink in. So like I said, I'm going to do kind of a demonoid character here. Just kink in like so. And then, well, same, this same distance, just a little bit less. So same distance, just a little bit less. And then I'll throw in my, where my hoof is or where my foot is. Right about there. So don't quite need this much down here. So I'm just going to use my snare, my uh, shears, and I'm just going to snip that off. It's about the same distance. And like I said, hard metal. But there we go. So. There's our bottom half of our character. Now this was a hard metal, so what I want to do is I want to get my soft metal. And I'm going to kind of make a loop that is, because I want a tail on here, I'm going to make a loop that's about the same as I did before, but then I want to pull even more out here for my tail. You know, however the you know whatever the length of your tail is, you know you've got to make that choice. This is soft, so I'm gonna just snip this and be done with that. So now what I can do is do the same thing. Bring this there, full uh, you know all the way to the the uh, where you know where the, the the two ends are touching, and then just kind of pull out like that. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. So squeezing that in. Now this is the tail. So this is the opposite side of what we're doing. So this is the tail. So I need to I need to now make a choice here 
where, how big the, the arms, I need the arms to be. Now I want my arms to kind of, you know, be somewhat naturalistic and kind of fall into place. So what I do is I just kind of drag it down like that. Because these are equal, then it just gives me a pretty good notion of where I want to begin bending my clavicle. So that is my clavicle right there. And then, and then I'm gonna bend again for my shoulders. Now, what I now wanna do is I wanna take a piece of my 1.5 here, and I'm gonna attach this. And this is gonna start looking like a figure now. So, just before I do that, look what we've done, okay? We've basically created that, and we've created that. Not too complex, right? Nothing too complicated with that process. So now what I want to do is I just want to join this here. So all I do is I do that. Give that a twist. And then now Start wrapping this you see that start wrapping that around the core of this Now, we'll bend out the tail. There's the, the upper portion, the tail, and the legs. So now what we want to do is we just kind of want to figure out where our elbows are gonna be. And then obviously get real creative with the pose. Now, this is where you wanna start figuring out, you know, what is it that you're gonna do? How's it gonna, how's it gonna stand? How's the, the tail gonna, gonna respond? And because it's malleable, you get to really get in there and play, you know, play with the idea. So the, the last thing that I'm gonna do for this video for today is I'm just going to uh, create a loop here for the hands. And all I'm gonna do is just create something like that. You see that? There's something like that right there because ultimately that's gonna be how I'm going to attach my hands to to this, uh, this armature. So, there we have it. There's uh, Armature 101 for today. Uh, tomorrow, join me and I'm going to actually do the hands and we'll uh, wrap the wire all, all around this character and then um, maybe we'll, um, you know, start playing around with the spine here, the curve a little bit of the spine and whatnot and uh, yeah. So thank you very much. I hope this uh, starts to get you excited about what we're going to be doing uh, during Monster Month. That's kind of the premise of, of, of this. I mean, it's I'm doing this 
because I love monsters and, um, and more importantly, I, uh, I really want to share with you guys this, this whole experience. So thank you very much and I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Ciao.